Next one is from Art Noxon. It's through Instagram. It's a uh, Art Noxon gave some explanation with this video. This is Sean Oquendo from the Philippines, also from the Philippines, covering Arthur Neri's pronounced Neri hit Filipino single called Pax Paxamo. Oh my God! What the, what is this? Okay, but let me open this so so you guys can see it as well. A little bit of explanation that Art Noxon gave me here. So this particular video I'm requesting has over three million views. You might care to look up the translated lyrics. So I will do that right away. So I don't know how easy this will be to to follow along with, but basically the song uh, it means request in English is about asking an ex to reconsider their breakup, even though you know it's probably a lost cause. Asking for a return to the simpler happy days of a relationship before things got complicated and fate intervened. I would suggest turning up the volume just a tad at the beginning of the video since his vocals start out very soft. It's an intimate live performance in a small room with musicians. I'm assuming you don't know the original song, which was a huge hit in their country by Arthur Neri about a year or so ago. But Sean has changed it up quite a bit with a brilliant arrangement and unexpected directions and chords the music takes. Interesting. Um, so let's see what this is all about. From what I can see, Arthur Neri is the original artist and Sean is the one doing cover right here. Let's find out. Here we go. So, keyboard. Guitar player in the back. Is he going to sing here? Is this Sean? breathy so far but that makes it so comforting to listening uh, to listening to to listen to oh my god okay Switch to the head voice there. Kahit 
head voice where he where he pushes a little and has this a little bit of distortion in the head voice but so much control in the voice i have goosebumps too art noxon i am trying to follow along with the lyrics but it just i don't even know where we are in the lyrics i'm trying to follow along but i don't have a clue <laughs> i don't have a clue but i can just read and see what it is about man and he's just into the zone Did you see him drop his mic from his right hand to his left? That was seamless. But his voice is crazy. He has so... Such a good voice. But like, in contrast to what we saw with Dan Vask. I don't have to compare, but it's just something that I noticed. Because Dan Vask like, lowers his jaw when he goes like, higher up. And he lifts up his chin. And the timbre of his voice is a lot different when he does that. It is a bit more pushy, but you get more emotion, I think, from, from this, I feel like. Uh, to me, it, he gives off more emotion doing that. Interesting. So beautiful. he puts into this he just lives in his own world during the these couple of minutes that he sings this song he, he doesn't care about a camera being there some people being next to him he just cares about feeling this song at least that's what it seems like it seems like to me beautiful really beautiful thank you so much much art noxon for this suggestion that was definitely worth it Cool. 